Six sixteen coming up on six <laughs> seventeen. Ah, so what do you think? The jig is up, right, Betsy? Yeah. So we're gonna kind of frame things out a little bit. You know, spring is very temperamental here in Northeast Ohio. Now today we made it to sixty-seven, right on par with our average high on this date. But it's been as warm as eighty-eight. It's been as cold as twenty-seven on this date. So things could be better. Things could be worse. And a lot of folks think back to last year. And a lot of folks forget about last year because last year in May, May was also very temperamental. These are all of the high temperatures for May of last year. You can see we started out with a couple beautiful days. Hmm, doesn't that sound familiar? And then things went below average. Hmm, again, sounding familiar. And then things kind of went off the grid a little bit. Look at this, 45. Now that's significant because that's May 11th of last year. That was the latest snow on record. Again, we had two tenths of an inch of snow, not a big snow, but again, just a uh, gut punch for everybody with it on that uh, record there. But then look at the latter part of May. This is what I really want to focus on is things as far as the weather go typically will be in patterns. OK, we are at the mercy of the atmosphere and the way it's uh, moving. And when it gets cold for an extended period of time, a lot of times that will be followed by a warming trend. And at the end of May last year, we took off. Temperatures went into the upper 80s. It was very toasty. So hot weather lovers, there is warmer temperatures on the horizon. Time will tell, of course, but, uh, you know, June follows May and typically June is pretty nice for us. So just don't give up hope yet. It's pretty tough, though, when you have the dark skies and the rain. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s tonight. That cool, damp feeling is just going to stay with us. Here's a look at the radar right now. We do have some areas of heavier rain showers that are moving through specifically off to the east of I-77 right now. We'll zoom in real quick to portions of Summit, Portage, Stark, Tuscarawas counties, where we have these heavier rain showers. Again, 70 seven snakes right down through here. You can see this heavy rain shower now moving through Maslin into the Canton area up into Jackson Township, Green, Uniontown area. That's all going to head east toward Hartville as well. So that's pretty much the heaviest rain that we have in the area right now. But as I expand the picture, there is even heavier rain that's moving through Illinois. Some severe thunderstorms out that way. We'll get the leftovers of those later tonight, but we kind of have a very unsettled forecast for the rest of the week. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast keeps the temperatures here in the 50s to right around 60 as we we pass the midnight hour. We will start the day tomorrow with some rain chances in the area. Muggy and murky with temperatures right around 60. I think we may break up toward the 70 degree mark, but it looks like more showers and storms will pop in that heat and humidity. We may make it into the low 70s, but as of right now, it does not look like we will be getting any break in the rain uh, chances as we go through the day tomorrow. Here's your Union Home Mortgage Outlook and where we go to 70 tomorrow, we're only going to make it to the 50s on Wednesday. That rain will be ending. We'll see clouds increasing Thursday, more showers on Friday, and then by the time we hit Mother's Day, looks like more rain is in the forecast. At least mom won't have to water the flowers that you're going to buy her. Hint, hint. We'll be right back with more on sports.